From diets that would put supermodels to shame, to workouts that would grind the average man to dust, training for a UFC match is a perilous task. Who better to learn from than a real-life Giga Chad? Yes, we're talking about Drew Dober. With an award-winning smile and Oscar-worthy performances to boot, you have to learn how this beast prepares for his upcoming matches. So 9.30 in the morning on Tuesdays is when I do my, uh, my Muay Thai training. So I'm here at Muay Thai of Colorado, um, usually working either pads, Muay Thai drills, um, any way we can use our limbs to hurt other people. At a young age, Dober was engrossed with martial arts movies. From Van Damme to Stallone, these action stars captured Dober's imagination, and it stuck. Dedicating his entire early life to martial arts, Dober wanted to become a complete badass. When facing down some of the baddest men in the UFC lightweight division, like future champion Islam Makachev and overall badasses like Bobby Green, you're going to want to train as if there's always a killer 30 feet away trying to take your head off. Dober does just that. Uh, now, you know, MMA or UFC, you know, people are starting to find out that uh, sparring's a little overrated, causes the most injuries, and they, in all honesty, it, it just makes you tough. And I spent the majority of my career being tough, and now I just want to be skillful, and to be skillful is you just got to keep repeating the same moves. Known for his strictness and go-getter attitude, Dober is no stranger to mental toughness. Six days a week and three times a day, Dober is hitting the gym. He warms up with jump rope for six sets of 30 seconds, before moving on to treadmill sprints, sled pushes, and pulls. But these are no reindeer games. It gets worse. He then hits the battle rope and does what he does best, weighted punches and kicks. This isn't your grandma's aerobics class, but this is just the first set of his workout, and he has two more workouts for the day. With his warm-up sets out of the way, yes, those were just warm-ups, his second workout is all about skill. MMA is a blend of martial arts, and Dober needs to be flawless in all of them if he wants to stay on top. Known for his boxing and kickboxing, Dober is no stranger to knocking people out. So he's been working extra hard, combining his skill on the feet with his skill on the ground, training kicks and punches while being pressured with takedowns, working out of getting his kicks caught, sprawling back to his feet quickly to gain offensive opportunities, offensive and defensive wrestling, refining his skills in jiu-jitsu. Dober is doing it all to become a well-rounded fighter. Be able to stand and trade with him very much. You know, he's going to look pretty desperate. I have a feeling um, as soon as he feels Drew's power. He's got tremendous power in his hands. He's good at range control. He's fast. He's got a deep gas tank. I think he uses those things uh, in the right order, and he puts any anybody away. Um, there's been many times where people have counted him out. You know, walking into a fight, and he, you know, goes in there and fights his ass off and puts people away. And if that's not good enough for you, now he's stepping into the ring with champions. I hope somebody brought a mop, because this is where Dober puts in the work. Knowing that his opponent only has his back catalog to go by, inspires Dober to be more creative when it's time to put rounds in during sparring. He tries to blend what he's good at with what he's working on to destroy his opponent. Other MMA stars have noticed that Dober is world class, like lightweight interim champion Justin Gaethje. Dober and Gaethje put in five hard rounds every day with each other. Damn, the referee gets a free show every day. Getting in the ring with world talents like Gaethje every day wouldn't be easy. But that's why Dober has been sparring five days a week for over a decade now. During his sparring sessions, Dober will try to adapt his skills to what he believes his opponent will do. And with his last few fights being against wrestlers, it's no surprise that he's tirelessly working against takedown attempts. He's on a three-fight winning streak, so this seems to be doing its job. With Dober's belief in implementing new skills into his training to keep his opponent guessing, it's no wonder he's being sought out by such marquee names in the sport. All the extra ring time is certainly keeping him sharp. Just ask his last three opponents. Training so hard, you would think Dober would just pig out, right? Wrong. Trying to get down to 155 pounds isn't the easiest thing to do, and neither is staying on top of diets even for a professional fighter like Drew Dober. So put down that cookie and learn how to diet like a real-life Giga Chad. With the mental fortitude to grind through exhausting workouts from morning to night, Drew shows even more mental reserve when it comes to his diet. Being a man who likes to cook, Dober has to stay away from the oven just in case his drive to go all out kicks in. But he might cheat and eat Indian food occasionally. Just don't tell his coaches that. Dober uses a meal prep program that's prepared specifically for him. 
cutting out the butter, sugar, and processed foods alike, Dober's meals only have room for what's essential during training camp. This includes staple bodybuilding classics, such as chicken, raw vegetables, and fruits, plus a few complex carbohydrates to keep him going. But we've heard that before with chicken, rice, and broccoli. But what makes Dober's diet so special? That, ladies and gentlemen, comes with the fact that Drew Dober is on a calorie deficit. He casually walks around at 190 pounds and must cut down to 155 pounds. And to top that off, toward the end of camp, Dober is barely getting enough food to keep him going through his workouts, while at the same time being severely dehydrated days before his fight happens. And you thought your morning latte going cold during the meeting was a bad day. But why dehydrate yourself before a fight, you may ask? Dehydrating to take off a couple extra pounds of water weight is common in many combat sports, but that doesn't make it any less of a daunting task. This is every fight week for Dober and other fighters alike, especially considering the risk of being knocked unconscious easier due to a lack of water. Does this phase Drew Dober? No, of course not. In the few weeks leading up to a fight, Dober will cut his water intake to a single bottle a day. Doesn't that sound crazy? Add in multiple trips to the sauna, hot baths, and cardio weighed down in tracksuits. He does this until he is within half a pound out from his desired weight. Nobody said fighting was easy, and with all of that training, dieting, and almost every bit of life force out of him, it's finally fight night. The final phase of preparation might be the easiest and hardest of them all, getting in the right headspace. Getting your mind in the right space is easy, right? Sure, that's why therapists are in such low demand, but Dober doesn't have time for a therapist. It's fight night. He's got to watch the knee. He's got to take with a right hook as well. Oh, he's using that step in knee a lot. Dober goes leg kick as he tries to start building some momentum a little bit. It's up to him and his coaches to get him in position to deliver the performance he's worked so hard for. So how does he do it? Well, when you've been knocking people into oblivion since you were 17 years old, it's not hard to step into an octagon prepared for war. But Drew Dober still has a trick up his sleeve for when the pressure is mounting. Dober refers back to his past watching martial arts on the big screen, seeing the game of MMA as a performance that's meant to be evaluated and dissected. Meaning, if Dober puts all the preparations we just listed in this video together, it's more than likely to be a good night for him, while his opponent listens to a tiny violin in the background. But win, lose, or draw, Drew Dober is a class act with serious knockout ability. And with all the brutal training sessions, hardcore dieting, and rock-solid mindset, Dober will no doubt be a top contender in the lightweight division for years to come. From training with champions to intense dieting, this is how Drew Dober prepares for his UFC matches.